Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you guys probably already seen from the title of this video. This is going to be my six week update for my breast augmentation and my 360 lipo. So before I get this video started, I do want to give out a quick disclaimer if you guys are against plastic surgery or changing anything with your body, just don't watch this video. Um, I did write down a lot of questions that I got before and then I'm, I'm having some more questions come in now and then I'll check uh, once I'm towards like, once I run out of these questions, I'll check again to see if there's more questions coming in. I am going to try to organize this video so that way it's not all over the place. I did write some notes down, that's why I keep looking down. I have a little journal right here that I'm going to be referring back to and then I wrote down some questions and things that I just thought was important to incorporate in this video. And I decided I'm going to talk about the breast augmentation first. So I'm going to go over those questions. I'm just going to get right into it because obviously this is what the video is about and I could just talk for days so I don't want to talk your guys' ear off. I want to make sure the video is about what you guys clicked here for. So okay the breast augmentation. So how many weeks am I? I'm six weeks right now. Uh, I actually I actually got to six weeks yesterday, which was Monday, today's Tuesday, and I actually had my six week appointment checkup today with my doctor, so he actually cleared me to work out, he started lifting weights, he obviously said ease into it, he said don't just jump right into lifting heavy weights, which I wouldn't do anyways because I haven't really been working out and I always ease back into the gym. I did go to the gym last week but I only did the treadmill and I felt very very light and that's probably because of the 360 it's crazy that I say this but usually when I'm on the treadmill like I can feel a whole bunch of jiggling going on here and this time it felt so light and thin right here uh, because of the lipo so that was a great feeling uh, we are planning to go to the gym today so it's nice because now I know I can start doing some booty exercises because obviously you guys know I didn't transfer any fat I just did a 360 lipo all the way around and then he went high up my back too which thank you for that because um, we all just want our fat taken out right <laughs> so yes I'm happy and excited that I'm gonna be able to do my butt exercises and then the treadmill and then I'll start lifting a little bit of weights here and there because it's not gonna hurt just to tone up my arms okay so I went over how many weeks how many cc's did I go so I went 505 cc's and I when I was going into the surgery I was going between I wanted between like 450 500 and I've always heard like majority I would say one person just one person has told me that they regret going the size that they went and they feel like they went too big but majority of the people said that they regret not going bigger and then also I heard that if you are thinking between two sizes to go choose the bigger size that you're thinking of going because usually the two sizes you're thinking about they're very similar and the CC difference is super super small well depending I don't know if you're thinking like 200s and then 400s that's obviously a bigger jump but 450 to 500 was a smaller jump so we ended up yeah going with the 505 and my doctor did like double check and he did order both implants so he ordered actually 470 and 505 he didn't care he was like i'm gonna have both of them in the room and if i feel like the 505 is not gonna be healthy for you and it's not gonna look good on you then i'm not gonna do the bigger size which i was 100 percent okay with that i love that he used his better judgment and he did end up going with the 505s though because he did fill it out he's like okay yeah she, her body can take this weight we obviously i don't want some big old boobs that later on because of the weight and how much they stretched out that when you lay down they go out to the side i've heard of that happening to girls so be careful if you guys are going too big okay so i'll move on to the next question 
the kind of implants what kind of implants did I get so I got round uh, smooth because there is textured ones silicone so I did not do saline I did silicone which is the more gummy one I hear a lot of good things and positive positive things about the silicone and if it were to like rupture anything it retracts so it doesn't like leak into your body like saline would so imagine like being out on vacation and then you have one deflated boob because you got saline or whatever which they do say saline is more natural and safer for the body so if it were to leak it wouldn't be toxic to your body uh, silicone could be but remember it does retract and you do want to be getting checkups so i would be getting like mammograms every so often just to check and then plus like us women we should be getting those done anyways as we age to check for any cancer or anything okay and then so for the projection i got so there is like i think it's called low moderate um high and extra high so i got high because I specifically told him I like the fake look and a lot of you guys might not like the fake look so just make sure that you guys are communicate with your doctor and let them know what you guys like maybe bring pictures start saving pictures of what you guys like I did a lot a lot of research so when I went to my consultation I knew exactly what I wanted but he actually knew exactly what I wanted before I could even tell him. He was just like, okay, like I'm thinking this, this, and this. And I was like, yeah, I want all of that. <laughs> so he was like telling his nurse, round, high, because I told him I want the round look. I want that you can see, I want to be able to see the roundness here and then up here. And he was like, okay, round, high, uh, profile. And then he gave her like a choice of cc's that they were gonna pull out for me so i can try on and yeah i was just like oh my god he knows exactly what i want <laughs> like he he's great okay sorry guys i just got a phone call that came in so anyways back to the questions okay uh let's see how do i feel so somebody asked me how do i feel now i feel great when i'm sleeping i like tend to roll over a little bit onto them and i don't feel <clears throat> excuse me i don't feel any discomfort i don't feel any pain um but i still just me knowing in my mind that i got my boobs done like i still don't want to sleep on them so i roll back over because i'm a side sleeper um and then i did answer that earlier if i can exercise and yes i can exercise now so he said to just ease into it uh, he told me, you know, don't go and start lifting heavy weights right away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ease into it. Uh, let's see. I have more questions that came in that I didn't write down. So let me check those real quick. So anything you, you would do differently than how you did. So I feel like it kind of goes with the question of if I regret anything or if I regret my size. Also, um no i wouldn't do anything differently everything went as kind of as expected i would say i was in a lot of pain but i have a low pain tolerance so the first three days like if you guys watched my other video where i'm doing the recovery video you guys will notice like i couldn't even talk loud because i felt like if i could talk if i were to talk loud like it would hurt or i just couldn't like i just didn't have the strength in my body to do it um so yeah the first three days were the worst and that's the first day the day of and then the next next two days after that so i would say by the fourth day i started to feel better and that's when i was then just taking ibuprofen and then the fifth day i was just i was good to go i was like okay i'll be good to go back to work in two days because i only took seven days off of work um so yeah just know that you're gonna be like out out for the first three days uh, did i have to buy new clothes so no i did not have to buy new clothes at all i actually feel like i was missing out so that goes back to the question do i regret it no i don't regret it i wish i would have done it sooner um but it's fine i did it now and it just fills out my clothes the first time it i didn't wear like a normal shirt or my sports bra for probably like 
three, four weeks. Like I was just wearing the recovery bra that we wear after. I had different ones, so I would just wear that. And I remember putting on one of my, I think it was a tank top shirt, and then I put that on. And usually when I would put it on, I had all this extra fabric up here. Like it would just come up, and then I had extra fabric on the sides, and it would like fold in. And when I put it on, like I was just like, oh, let me just put this on because I'm gonna just wear this tank top under my faja so I don't get faja burn. And I was like, oh my god, like it just filled out the shirt nicely. I don't feel like I went too big at all because I did want them big, but I didn't want them too big. And I feel like that's what I got. Like I got them big, but not too big. So it literally fills out my shirts, it fills out my dresses, like just how I wanted it to look so that's why I'm so happy I was telling all the girls that have boobs or got their boobs done, I'm like why didn't you guys tell me like I was missing out boobs are so much fun so <laughs> and and so far I've been getting a lot of good feedback from my clients too I, I show them like they'll ask me about them and then I'll be like yeah like you guys obviously I don't show like my nipples and everything <laughs> But I'll lift my shirt and I'll have like a little sports bra or a little over um, bralette that I like to wear and I'll show them and they're like, oh my god, like they, they love how they look. They're still dropping too, so don't think that they're going to stay like this, you guys. They're still going to drop more. I'm just six weeks in, so this is still going to smooth out a little bit. I'm still going to have that round look, but it's still going to come down a little bit. It's going to fall more into this pocket down here. So recovery time for the breast. Also, you're not like fully recovered till I think six between six months to a year. So yeah, I'm still recovering, like I said. So I'm still careful with my body. I'm still careful with them. Um, they do feel a lot more squishy. If you guys seen when I got them done, they were like way up here and they were like squared. So that is completely normal. Like I even told my fiance, like, hey, they're gonna look like this, okay? So don't think that they're gonna stay how they look, how they first look when I'm done, okay? When I come out of the surgery. Don't think they're gonna stay like that, like all square looking, super high up. So I warned him because knowing him, he's gonna be like, oh my God, like that looks so bad. But so if you guys are planning on getting it done, this these are things I, like I said, I did all my research, so I knew they were gonna be super high up and square looking. So don't be scared, okay? That's the recovery process. So, Everybody's looks like that at first even if you get that low profile like they just look like that Oh, what size was I before so I was So I would say from here to out here. I would say I was like a B But from here to up here it was an A because um, it would not fill out my My cup sizes it would be super empty on top now I don't know what size I am actually maybe like a full C and D maybe like regular D or small D that's what I'm thinking I did buy a C cup bra I just measured it over but I haven't fully measured it I haven't went into like Victoria's Secret usually Victoria's Secret like when they measure you though it's usually a size bigger because they want your, the cup to fully fully support like from over here all the way over so it's usually a bigger size when they measure you so I have not gone in to get measured yet but yeah, I'm thinking between C and D. That's probably the size that I am. I think I pretty much covered all the questions besides the price. So the price, I'll go over where I went like towards the end, but the price for the breast augmentation, remember everybody's a little bit different depending on if you need a lift. I think, I don't know if they go off of like sizes and whatnot, but it's between 7,000 to 7,500 for the breast, okay? Now I can move on to the 360 lipo. So I'll go over the questions for the 360 lipo. Um, does, does it hurt? Yes, I would say the same thing as the breast. The first three days were the worst. But the lipo, I did feel like numbness. Like I would not even want you to touch me. Uh, my lower back especially. I think it's because I would lay on my lower back. So all the swelling and everything went towards my lower back. And that's what was hurting a lot. It felt like a lot of numbness. 
even though I'm six weeks now, once I started, what, after my fifth week, I got very, very itchy, like especially back here. And I've read and my doctor also said like, it's because your nerves are starting to come back together. So it's like, it's a good thing you're itching because you're recovering. And since they're coming back together, you're getting that itchy feeling because uh, they're healing. Um, how I feel now, now I can touch it. Um, so a lot of people, they go different places and out of the country. And they get massages right away. A lot of places like in Miami have massages included. So the massages can make you very sore also. I Well, I think that. I didn't start getting massages till two weeks after. And I really didn't get fibrosis. And the little bit that I got was like right here. And then I felt like a little bit not too bad on the sides. And I would just like massage it myself gent gently. And I showed my doctor and then he felt it. He massaged it a little bit and then he told me to massage it. And that went away. So I'm glad like the bumpiness, those hard rock balls that you guys might want to look into for the 360 lipo. So just make sure you're massaging them or you can get your massages, whatever you want. So like I said, I didn't start getting my massages till like two weeks after. And the next day I would feel like very sore in those areas where I got the massages. So I can only imagine getting them, getting the massages right after getting the surgery. Especially because I was like, I do not want anybody to touch me. And some places they open up your incisions and they're like draining out fluid. So, oh my God, just the thought of that like scares me. <laughs> So I'm glad I didn't have drains. I'm glad that I did not have to go through that. I waited But like everybody's different. So wherever you go like that's on you and how you want to do your own recovery If you want to get your massages right away or not Also, I do have a little bit of background with like the massages and stuff because I used to offer them until state board here in california like regulated them sort of kind of I, I don't know what's going on with that but i don't want to mix you know my licenses with that stuff so if i were to like do that that would be a whole separate business like done somewhere else in a different facility or separated from my business that i have now so my fiance here like i would just tell him how to massage me and stuff like that so now i incorporate a little bit of my wood therapy like nothing super harsh or anything like that just to like massage and drain and he'll do, he's done that for me a few times especially my back because i couldn't really get back there and that helped a lot so thank you to him if you guys don't have like a man or significant other that can help you guys massage a little get bit. a friend to help you or just try okay just try to get back there or book your massages you know put money aside for massages at the end of the day they're gonna help relief and they're gonna help the swelling go down so yes i do recommend getting some massages so somebody asked for the 360 lipo is uh how much did that one cost the 360 lipo is more i don't remember the exact price but i think it's around between 8,600 and remember that's all the way around so if you just get the abdominal area that's different just the back or the sides like that's a different price between eight and nine thousand that's pretty much the price for the 360 lipo how long is the recovery for the lipo so I'm still recovering they told me that I should be wearing my faja like literally every day up to at least six months and i know some girls that they keep wearing it for the whole year so that's what i plan to do is just wear my faja all the time it is really really helping shape my body the faja that i got and i really love their fajas at first it did dig into my side but remember i was swollen and so the faja that i got let me go back into that because i'm over here all over the place it's from uh, Snatched Body, so I love that one because it doesn't compress your butt and your hips. So while it's shaping like the rest of me, it's not compressing those areas. Even though I didn't get no fat transfer, like why would I want my butt and my hips compressed, <laughs> okay? I'm just trying to compress my abdominal, my back, my sides, obviously. I'm going to bring it out right now so I can show you guys. 
I actually got three Fajas from them. So I bought a extra large, which I could have just bought a large. And I'm a small, by the way. So I went, what, three sizes up? Yeah, medium, large, extra large. So yeah, I went three sizes up. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to make sure I can fit my foam boards because that first week you're super swollen and you're actually not supposed to compress too much that first week. You do want compression but not too, too much to where it's like digging in because it's really uncomfortable and it hurts. And then I would say in the middle of like two weeks, that's when I changed to my small. So I would, even even now, I'm six weeks and I wear my faja and I wear my front board. So I would just wear, during the day, I would wear my faja, my small one, and then the front board. And then at night, I would switch back into my bigger faja and then I would put the foam boards because honestly, the foam board, especially my lower back, because of how it felt like that numbness and how it, much it hurt, like if you pressed on it, Having that foam board while I would sleep helped so much. Like even if I wasn't wearing a faja, I would put the foam boards under me, just on my lower back and it felt so much better. Okay, I have my fajas right here. So I only brought this one out. So remember, I got the extra large and I got this one in a small. So this is a small. So you guys can see, he told me I had to get something that came all the way up my back. So that way it would compress my back as well because he did lipo all the way up here. So I got this one right here. It's very, very comfortable. The fabric has three layers and it has compression right here. So it was very comfortable. Um, the, I would say the back though could have been smaller and a little bit tighter on me. But at the beginning, it these straps actually like they're not really compressing on your boobs, but because I got my boobs done, it, it did make my boobs hurt a little bit when I had the straps right here. It would hurt a little bit from them pressing on the side. Um, now they don't, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, this one here, so like I said, this is a small and it has three hooks. I just hooked it on the last one. I can honestly get an extra small now. I feel like this is not enough compression. Like. I should be struggling more in the mornings to put this on. I don't have it on right now because like I said, I went to the doctor's appointment and they did um, pictures. So I didn't want to have like markings and stuff like that for their pictures. It does have a zipper. So the zipper is here in front, goes all the way up back here. And so it's very easy to go to the bathroom. And then you guys can see like the butt area is very big. So a lot of fajas, like their butt area is super small. I'm like, who has a little tiny butt like that? They're trying to fit a little butt cheek in that little mesh part. <laughs> That's why I really like this one. Okay, um, so I also bought this one from them. So this is a strapless one that I love this one too. What I like about this one, so this one does have some bones in the back. It does have boning i think it has three let me see no it just has two but what i like about this one it shapes your lower back into that v shape so a lot of girls when they get bbls they wear the lower backboard and that helps like shape your butt like the peach shape that everybody wants so this faja does that the other one does do that but it doesn't have the bony so this one does it a little bit more then the other one, so this one doesn't have no boning. Very comfortable for me uh, sitting down and lashing. This one, I just got this strapless one because this one's just to go out. Like I went out last weekend, I think it was, and I didn't want the straps to show. So that's why I have also got this one. So it's very similar to the other one, just strapless. And everything I got from Amazon, so these come in two days. So I didn't buy the fajas beforehand because I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna know what size. Honestly, I could have probably just went two sizes bigger than the size that I normally am, which is a small. So that's kind of like a reference. If no one's really there to help you, if you don't go to like a specialist that like works with fajas, usually they can tell you like, hey girl, you're gonna need this size or that size, but nobody was really, there to help me so i just kind of guessed but i could have just got a large 
So pretty much they just asked if you can see the results right away. The first two weeks I was very bloated. Number one, the first week I'm bloated because of the medication, the trauma your body went through and you know, all the, the lipo, like I was just super swollen. The second week, I would say I still wasn't seeing like, I just, I wasn't really looking honestly for results. I was just like more worried about, okay, I need to be compressed. Now I'm on six weeks. I would say after the second week, I did start seeing results, especially right here on my sides. He really, really like curved me in and my back. He said he took a lot of fat out of my back. He didn't want to do too much in the front because I don't know if you guys know, but I have two kids. So yes, I am a mom. So my skin has stretched out twice. <laughs> so he didn't want to go too harsh with the lipo because he doesn't want me to have a whole bunch of extra skin in the front and then me be worried about like, oh my God, like I need a little tummy tuck. He said, if I did need a tummy tuck, it would be a small one. It wouldn't be like a super long scar. So he did do some lipo there, but he didn't go super harsh in that area. And which is totally fine with me. I didn't even know that I had that much fat in my back, but I can see the difference a lot. I can really see the difference. I actually had, um, one of my clients asked me if my butt was real and I'm like, yes, girl, it's real. And I'm like, but the faja lifts my butt, okay? And then she was like, oh, okay. And my friend, one of my friends that works there at the facility, this is how I found the facility because she had been working there for some time. So she re recommended me to like this specific doctor and she she was in there in the in the room while he was doing the procedure the whole time which is great to have someone that I knew for that many years to be in the room so she's the one that recommended because I wanted to do BBL but she's like girl don't do the BBL like just do the 360 lipo it's gonna make your butt look big and well bigger appear bigger and then I was like okay you know what I'm gonna do lipo and boobs then so that's how I decided to not do the BBL and then I just 360 lipo on the boot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just stand up so I can kind of show you guys. I am gonna insert a video or a picture right here where you guys can see my before of my breast. And then I'm gonna see if I can insert a video of like, a video or a picture of like what my what my abdominal area from the 360 lipo used to look like i did take a video not the greatest video so i'm gonna try to do the video again and see if i can insert that for you guys so you guys can see the difference but i'm gonna get up so i can show you guys okay so there's my booze this is my so he did i'm wearing gym clothes right now so here let me put this down so you guys can see and then that's what it looks like. Um, I did have like a lot of fat right here on top of my abs. And then, so I don't know if you guys can see, let me turn this way, maybe it looks better this way. Let me see. But you guys can see he curved out my back a lot. It was just like straight, like it was my butt and it was like straight into my back. They did say that my results are gonna get better and better. I've heard the doctor told me this and my nurse told me this and I know a lot of girls that have gotten BBLs or the 360 lipo and they've actually told me that girl you're you're gonna get smaller and smaller like it just keeps getting smaller and smaller every week they said up until like six months that's when you see like your final final results maybe it's six months to a year but they said once you get to six months, you're gonna really see your results. So I was like, oh, like I'm gonna get smaller. <laughs> and then now I am noticing, now that I'm at the six weeks, I'm starting to notice my skin is catching up with the lipo. So I kind of already knew this. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna get the lipo. I'm, I know my skin's gonna look, look a little bit like stretched out and deflated a little bit so I knew in my mind like it's gonna take time for my skin to retract and shrink back up which I was totally okay with that I think the massages help and then I have this Nivea cream that I use it's like it's blue and it's like a gel base so I'll insert that one right here too so you guys can see this is 
something I really really like I actually use this for my legs because I get like those strawberry legs and if you're putting it on every day after the shower it's gonna really help with that so I put that on for my skin texture on my body so it says you could put it on your butt your legs um, and your abdominal area okay I did check if I had any more questions but I don't have any more questions I hope that I answered everything or all of your guys's questions that you guys might have had if you guys have more questions feel free to ask me in the comments but before I end the video where I got it done so I am here from Sacramento I am born and raised in Sacramento California and this is actually where I got it done so the place is called ideal plastic surgery my doctor is called dr. Boone and he's the one that did my surgery he is amazing I love that I got it done right here in Sacramento because I've already already seen my doctor what like four times after I saw him the day after a week after I think two weeks after two or three weeks after that and then I just saw him today so if anything were to happen like he's right here and also he gives you like they give you his personal number so if you need to talk to him text him like it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the night like you can message him or call him if anything happens plus I'm right here like I got to recover in my home in my bed so I'm very happy that I found an amazing doctor that did my work remember everybody's experience is different so I'm not telling anyone you have to go here but if I would recommend it yes if you guys were to ask me hey do you recommend him like did you like your experience I loved my experience I loved the staff they were amazing from the consultation to now they're very sweet and kind and him too he's very attentive answers all your questions they, they make you feel very comfortable and so does he he doesn't make you feel like uncomfortable or anything he makes you feel very very comfortable so and they're very clean okay that that's something that really stood out so the consultation area is different from the surgery area the surgery area is like on the other side of the building let me tell you when i walked past that door for the surgery like the chair is right next to the door and they're like they don't even let you step on their floor with regular shoes or like have your hair out they don't want like one strand of hair to fall on their floor they don't want you to step on their floor like it has to be very very clean so right then and there they had me change my shoes out put on their socks be in socks put my hair net on and then we proceeded with the whole everything I needed to do for the surgery so they were very clean nothing was rushed they almost make everything like very like to me I'm a very like spiritual person and I love I need to meditate or like relax chill I think this is why I was not nervous about my surgery at all because and they would just talk to you with like this tone of voice and like not just him like the nurses too they would come in be super calm they wouldn't rush nothing they even were like okay the doctor's gonna be in here in, in a few minutes they would dim the lights they're like oh if you want to be on your phone you can while you're waiting and it was just very chill I was very calm I was just like so calm that I was like I could just take a nap right now <laughs> so that's why it ended up being easier for me and that was the scariest part is getting put to sleep but because I was very calm and didn't feel rushed or anything like it was easy for me to just okay I'm gonna lay down and and that was it like when they came everything was chill he was marking me my friend was there by the way and and ever that's how everything went like very smooth so I guess I'll be ending it with that being said you guys know where I went ideal plastic surgery dr. Boone did my surgery so I want to say thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new to my channel I'll see you guys on my next video Se pone con